The origins of arena rock were in the 1960s, sometimes dated to when the Beatles first played Shea Stadium in New York in 1965. Also important was the success of the large pop and rock festivals like Monterey and Woodstock and the use of large stadiums for American tours by bands including the Rolling Stones, Grand Funk Railroad, and Led Zeppelin. The tendency developed in the mid-1970s as the increased power of amplification and sound systems allowed the use of larger and larger venues, Smoke, fireworks, and sophisticated lighting shows became staples of arena rock performances. It has been argued that the rise of arena rock marked the end of the idealism of the 1960s. When hard rock and heavy metal bands began to gain popularity, the music became more commercially oriented and radio-friendly, boasting slick productions and anthemic choruses both on their hard rock numbers and their sweeping power ballads. Most of these bands earn their following through saturation airplay on FM radio and through constant touring. Bands like Journey and REO Speedwagon and Boston, Foreigner and Styx became some of the most popular bands of the mid to late 70s through this circuit. While Starina Rock has seen large popularity over the years, especially from the 60s to the 1980s, it has also been criticized for its often commercial and extravagant nature, especially with regards to the shows and the concert tours that event center rock bands and artists would have. As hard rock bands and those playing a softer yet strident kind of pop rock became increasingly popular, Groups began creating material inherently designed for large audiences, and arena rock developed from their use of more commercially oriented and radio-friendly sounds. The often highly produced music included both upbeat, dramatic songs and slower power ballads, features strong emphasis on melody. Other major characteristics include prominent guitar effects and the use of keyboard instruments. Historian Gary A. Donaldson has summed up arena rock as big hair, big voices, and really big guitars. Arena rock's popularity being described as a dominant force musically from the 1970s onward. Arena rock evolved in a way that was still melodic and performance-driven, yet far more aggressive and confrontational. Mainstream rock became dominated by those hair metal, also known as glam metal and pop metal bands, with a large emphasis still being put on both on music and visuals. Flashy clothing with elements such as heavy makeup and dramatic hairstyles became common. Prominent examples of this genre include Def Leppard, Motley Crue, and Poison.